lot difference from yesterday, eh? So, um, we didn't actually finish the race. There was not enough wind. Most boats actually gave up. Uh, but it was good fun. It was really good fun. And, uh, it was a bit of a, a closure, really. As I say, um, last time Driscoll sent in that race, she won her class. So, uh, to be able to say, you know, about eight, nine weeks after uh, rescuing her as a derelict that um, she was in the race was um, a very positive thing. I mean, we didn't take it very seriously. I even had the dinghy towed off the back, so we didn't put racing sails up or anything like that. It was just literally a bit of fun. So uh, it was all right. So today I have to go to Little Bathy, Meganisi, to collect beggar because uh, when Svetlana left to go up to Corfu, she left the cat with um, Vale, a friend of ours, had sort of adopted that boat. But the boat is being sold, um, it's being delivered off to Portugal um, this coming week. So um, I've got to collect beggar and get him back on board. Uh, he's not going to be happy with it, but at least he'll have Lucy for company, so we should be okay. And um, I've, basically, I'm going to stay at anchor tonight so he can get used to the fact that this is his home now and that he's got food on board. And then we're going to um, one of the pontoons tomorrow to put the boat on the pontoon. And then I've got friends coming to look after the cats during the next couple of weeks while I help deliver this boat to Portugal. So there should be some nice footage, I hope, of me uh, on this boat as we as we take it off to Portugal. So uh, a friend of mine with a pilot cutter sold it. We're heading to Portugal, giving him a hand to uh, to deliver it. So I'm just setting off from uh, Nidri now, heading out now the Meganisi Strait, and uh, yeah, across to Malta was the first stop. We might have changed that because I need Sicily, no, Sicily, Sicily is the first stop. So yeah, that's where we're going. Got the coffee, got the depth gauge. The autopilot, got crew, Gabby went, yep, got a view, so it's all good. It's a bit bigger than Driscoll's though. Twenty past two. Very tight crew. And we've just had a bit of a a crisis. The inverters have overheated, so the two twenty volt system's gone down. Uh, that means we can't charge our phones. It's terrible, isn't it, really? Uh, and then all of a sudden, we've got this alarm going off on the depth gauge. And I'm worried. Yeah, over 2,000 metres of water, but uh, it's a bank of meat. And it doesn't seem to want to cancel, so. But everything's running all right. I and mean, it happened earlier, and then just went off, so. 
we're uh, just monitoring it at the moment. So, otherwise, it's been rather an uneventful passage. The, uh, we've had about 10 knots of wind, we're, we're currently sort of 8 knots, 7 knots of wind. And, uh, but it's on the beam, so it's quite rolly. Otherwise, everything's good. Day two, just missed the actual sunset itself. It's a big shame, but got the uh, head set up. This is Sicily, this is the north of Sicily. You can't see it, but just about there. Morning guys, well, it's six o'clock in the morning, for today, let's see, so we've just come all the way across the top of Sicily, throughout the next day as well, so the night is back in the 28 miles I think, in the morning, um, I've been crossing from the toll there, so, but uh, we're at the way of uh, Dramada. We've had problems with the engine and the heating. This is what happens when a build piece of each for a time. So, a uh, combination of things really. So, the raw uh, water feet and strainers will come to the Those that we can just also frozen closed on the engine. So uh, when we get to the next bay, we the engine uh, goes out and do the inspection. And then uh, also I need to dive in the boat and just clear out the grids where the water comes in. 
hopefully I should kill him. So uh, we're going to let the two speak while we uh, deal with that. Just a big city of Tatar. But he was so hot that uh, the air filter was melted. And uh, so I don't know if it's fun to carry that at all. So he's an interesting guy. Entertaining. So we've got the lovely uh, sunrise just behind me. The boat is chipping a lot quite nicely, really. Uh, so it's been quite a pleasant couple of days. I mean, uh, it's too scary, it's very calm, very slight, and uh, there's no wind. So, we were able to get the headset out for uh, a couple of hours across the top of the city, but then we can strike down again. So, uh, yeah, so we're doing about six and a half, seven knots, which, uh, yeah, so we have done about 300 miles so far, uh, 1,200 to go before we get there. So, it should be fun.